Today we're looking at managing secrets like for example API keys in Postgres using Superbase Vault. Now Superbase Vault is a Postgres extension and um, also we have built a UI for it in the Superbase dashboard making it safe and easy to store encrypted secrets. Now this is the important part here so the secrets are always stored encrypted on disk they are never available decrypted and then this is a really neat way so the decryption works is they are only decrypted on demand using a postgres view now if you're interested to dive more into kind of the details of, of it there's a deep dive in the docs i'll link it below as well so um there's more in terms of like how the encryption keys are stored and managed and it really is done in a way that even if someone were to gain access to a dump of your database they would not be able to decrypt um, the secrets that are stored in there so secrets are always stored in an encrypted way now the way to access this in your um, Superbase dashboard is in the project settings you can here go to the vault um, beta and you can for example use the UI here to add a new secret so we call it stripe here we'll store our stripe secret key so this is our stripe secret API key um, and we can then store the secret value now one thing we'll do here um, which is quite neat we, we combine this with um, the uh, Superbase wrappers so the wrappers for the Stripe API allow us to actually query our Stripe account uh, through Postgres using SQL. So this is pretty cool. This is um, the test account behind our popular subscription payment starter. Um, and so what we can do is here we can go to the developer section and we can now let's do this where we'll actually create a restricted key. We'll call this um, Superbase Vault Demo. And then what we want to do is we want to be able to um, read the um, balances. So let's just do this for this demo here. We can, um, if we go into the, the docs here, we can see there's a bunch of things that are um, enabled for the wrappers. So for example, for customers, you can also, um, you know, insert, update, delete customers. Um, but we'll just do the balances for now. So what we can do is we can just enable uh, read access for our balances for this key. Uh, and then we're going to say create key. And so uh, Superbase Vault demo again, um, this is a, a secret key. So we need to store it securely and we shouldn't show it to anyone. So don't do what I'm doing here. And then we can go back to our um, Superbase dashboard and we can paste in um, our secret value here and then we say okay we just want to um, you know hand, let Superbase handle the whole encryption key management default uh, encryption key let's create that and we can see now that um, we created this encryption key here um, and then we created our secret as well uh, we can here get our uh, key ID so if we look into the vault documentation, we can then see so yeah, in the background, you know, we can also do all of this in SQL if we want to. Um, so for example, as a vault create secret method um, that we can call or we can just insert into vault dot secrets. So now if we um, check this out, we can do this in the table editor, uh, we can see that we'll have a schema here, that's vault. Um, and then we have our um, secrets here. So you can see our um, key ID. This is our um, secret key ID. And then this is our secret. Um, and so here you can see our secret is uh, encrypted. And then here is the decrypted secrets um, view. And so on demand, then we get the uh, decrypted secret here in our um, dashboard. And so this is never stored on disk. This is basically generated as we're accessing the, um, the view here. 
Okay, great. And so now we can combine combine this with um, Superbase uh, wrappers. And wrappers is pretty cool here. So this actually allows us to create um, it's called it's a concept called foreign data wrapper, um, originally designed to access kind of multiple Postgres instances. Um, but here, what we can do is we've we've developed this framework, where we can actually use SQL um, to create kind of foreign um, data tables, uh, right within, you know, our Superbase dashboard, and then actually, in the background, what happens is when we're accessing those tables, um, we we actually making an API request from Postgres to Stripe, using our API key stored in the vault. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to um, create our uh, wrappers extension, if that doesn't exist already. So we'll go to our um, SQL editor, we can all do this here. Um, so we'll need to create our extension, if it um, doesn't exist already. And then we need to create a, a foreign data wrapper um, here, called stripe wrapper. And then we have a handle here, handler here and a validator. So this is kind of part of um, how this is implemented under the hood. And so we can go ahead and run this here. So now we have this, um, you know, uh, enabled our for our foreign data wrapper for Stripe. And so now what we can do is we, um, so this piece, we already have done this, we have created our um, vault secrets. And so now connecting to Stripe, we can do this, uh, we basically create this uh, Stripe server. Uh, and the API um, base URL is already kind of the default URL. Um, so what we can do here is we can um, leave this out, you know, default is already in there. And then we just need our API key ID. So if you uh, remember correctly, here in our project settings, uh, in the vault, we have this is um, our API uh, key ID. And we can go back to the SQL editor. And we can put in here our key ID. So as you can see, you know, we're not um, ever using our um, actual, you know, API key, uh, but rather we're storing it in the vault. And only, you know, when we're um, actually making the API requests to Stripe, we're then decrypting the value on the fly and making the API request. Um, I believe, sorry, you, let's run this. Okay, and so now we have our Stripe server enabled. And so now what we can do is we can um, create a foreign data table for our um, balance, for example. So let's go here. Um, so the way this works, we're basically creating a foreign table uh, called Stripe balance. And then we're creating it from the server called Stripe server. And we're passing the options where the object is balance. So that's how we create kind of that foreign um, data table. So paste that in, give that a run. Uh, and yeah, we one thing we forgot, we haven't uh, created the schema yet. So if we go back here, you know, obviously, we can choose any kind of schema we want. But yeah, it, I think it makes sense here to have it on um, kind of a schema called Stripe. Okay, let's run that. And so now you can see we have a new schema stripe, and then we have uh, a stripe balance table. So if we go to the table editor, we can go to uh, now our new stripe. Uh, and you can see here we have a foreign table, we can look at the balance. So here we have like um, an amount uh, that's um, available and a pending amount. And so that adds up, yeah, if we look at the balance to 375431. Um, that works out. Now, let's say we have a big fish customer and they sign up for our $400. Now, let's add this bypass the pending balance and add it straight to so we can use this test card here and subscribe. And now um, we we'll convert the amount, so the 400 US dollar to 52172. So if we go to our balances, we now, um, 
yeah so should see four two two four two five five dot one eight and so if we go back here we can now see that um, as the dashboard is refreshing uh, it's updating the available amount um, the pending amount and so what we can do as well we can do this in um, the, the um, you know SQL so we can select everything from uh, stripe the balance so if we run this we now see the updated amount and then also what we can do is you know in um, group by currency so let's select the sum of the amounts um, as well as the currency and group by currency and now we can see okay the sum is four two five five and eighteen cents so here four two five five and eighteen cents so you can see with um, Superbase vault and the foreign data wrappers you can get um, kind of access to real-time um, data information on your Stripe account um, simply using uh, SQL, which is really, really cool. Um, as well, there is a bunch of other uh, foreign data wrappers. You can use these, um, you know, to get data out from Airtable, AWS S3, BigQuery, ClickHouse, Firebase, actually Lockflare as well. Um, so these are really, really handy. And uh, I hope this was helpful for you and would love to hear kind of what other foreign data wrappers you would find helpful. And, you know, as always, let us know in the comments below what you want to learn next. And I'll see you then. Bye bye.